Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know I've been out for a bit, uh, but I've just kind of been taking a little bit of a break. But I am back, and we are here to talk about Cat's Commissary. Um, just really quick before I get started, I just want to say, if, if you've watched the Rich the Man video on Cap's Commissary, um, it really gave me a little chuckle. Uh, if you don't know, Rich is British. I live in the UK now, and I don't think commissary is a big word here, and he just kept calling it the commissary, and a lot of people in the comments were really taking, uh, taking the, the mick out of him, making fun of him a little bit about that. But... I was actually in the American Air Force for a long period of time, and I've made a million and one visits to the commissary, which, if you don't know, is the base uh, grocery store, base supermarket. So, um, yeah, it just gave me a little chuckle. I just wanted to share that. I just thought it was really funny. But, yeah, Rich the Man, it is the uh, commissary. So, anyway, carry on. So, all this is, guys, is a trade-in store. So, we'll just quickly read through this, and I will review the previous trade-in store from a video that I did uh, over a year ago. So to ensure that you and your champions are well stocked for the many dangers of the contest, we're opening the doors to Cap's Commissary, which will allow you to trade for some special offers and bonus supplies. Progression tuned special offers will be appearing September 22nd, 24th, and 29th this week. Well, the 29th is over a week away, but anyway. Uh, additionally, you will be able to swap some of your units, gold, awakening gems, and crystals for some special items in the commissary store itself. Putting in a bit of effort in the battle realm this week will also get you bonus rations from the commissary with the Caps Commissary Solo Event. that will be awarding you points for making purchases in the commissary, acquiring special offers, completing fights and alliance quests, and achieving battlegrounds solo objectives. Peak milestones in this event, for those who have become a Thronebreaker or higher, include Steve Rogers himself in the form of a Stevens Star. Civil Warrior. So, looks like the big prize you might get if you spend enough, if you swap enough things and do enough bits uh, in these uh, milestones is a seven star Civil Warrior. If you don't know, Civil Warrior is absolute crap, but you never know. We might get buff one day, and it's kind of cool to have a new seven, uh, seven star. And to be honest, I think Civil Warrior is one of the coolest looking champs in the game, even though he is absolute trash. So, I will be trying to get my hands on a seven star Civil Warrior. Um, before we go through the trade-ins, um, the, I don't think it'll be that difficult. Um, uh, I would be very wary of the special offers in this. I'll review it when it actually comes out. Uh, when it actually starts throwing out the offers, I'll be reviewing those, but I would be very wary of those. You have got 4th of July, or, uh, Cyber Weekend. It's just a couple months away. So be very wary of spending too many units. Uh, if it is a unit based deal because they will try to offer you units deals that are maybe that may be quite appealing but definitely won't be uh, nearly as good of uh, an offer as if you would just hold out and maybe spend a few more units for the uh, cyber weekend deals which like I said is only a couple months away so without further ado let's go back and check out this video you'll have to forgive you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see my overlay previously. I was, when I did this video, I was not happy uh, just over a year ago because of the uh, six star awakening gems and what they were actually asking for those. But I'll go through that in a bit. Some of the stuff in this trade in uh, store was really good, and a lot of it was absolute crap. So just be very, very careful uh, what you do spend your money on. But Hopefully these, they will be miles better than this, but this is the sort of thing that you can expect when this does come out uh, in just a few days now. So start with this first one. We had a 2% T5 uh, CC Fragment Crystal. That was if you uh, if you traded in a full uh, T4 CC, you could have 2% T5 CC. Now, there may be something similar this time. I would maybe expect that if you traded in maybe a full T5CC crystal or a full T5CC uh, that you maybe have already opened. Maybe you could get, I don't know, 20% crystal or something along those lines, 10% crystal of a tier six or something along those lines. I would imagine that might be the case this time. The T4CC crystals. Um, don't forget about those. I forgot what those even were, to be quite honest. 
Uh, these were decent for lower rank players. If you needed some tier four CC, you could trade in uh, tier four basic to get those. Or these were quite good as well. Just skip forward a tiny bit. Um, if I can get it to drop down a little bit. Well, anyway, all these are. If you just look here, we've got a cosmic gems or cosmic T4 CC. So if you open these guys and you've got way more of one particular type, same thing. It's in the store now. You can trade one of these in and get you a full T4 CC. Uh, let's skip on to the next section. We'll leave those till the end. The six star six stones. Um, these were like rock and horse crap back in the day. You could not get these for a load of money. These were extremely hard to get. I would imagine there might be some, some more six star six stone uh, offers, traded offers on this store, but they should be considerably better than this. Uh, if you look here, you had to trade in 25 generic five stars to get one six star six stone crystal, not even the generic. So that was just an extremely high price. Um, and then on these, you had to have, excuse me, if you wanted a generic, you'd have to trade in five of each uh, class, which was, a, in my opinion, a really poor deal uh, because we know what they wasn't many, there weren't many things about at the time. So to trade in five just to get one generic was again extremely high high price. And then he had five star six stones all the way down to four and three. Uh, the one thing you could do if you did have say a ton of four star or a ton of three star generics or whatever, you could actually trade those in and just keep going up and up and up and up. Uh, you know, and trade in generics from three star to class base four stars and once you got enough class base four stars you could trade those for generic four stars and then once you got enough of those you could get class base five stars and so on and so forth hopefully that makes sense you could just keep trading them up and up and up if you had enough um, and you'll see that how that's going to work a bit further on with the next uh with the next thing so with the next one guys um we've actually got health pots so the only thing you're missing here is a level uh, one for a level two. So you're trading, you could trade two level one health potions for a level two health potion. Once, you, let's say you had a uh, hundred of these. So you could trade a hundred of those for 50 level twos. Then you could trade 50 level twos for 25 level threes. Then you could trade 25 level threes for 12 level fours. Then you could trade 12 level fours for six level fives and so on and so forth. If that's what you want to do. And what I would suggest guys, especially with um, when it gets down to the, to these the revives i would definitely try to trade as many as you possibly can maybe over the next uh few days or a week uh you know try to run the uh oh, i forget what it's called where you get your revives nowadays uh try to run that the apothecary thing try to run that as many times as you possibly can between now and then try to get enough as many level one revives as you can and also try to do as many of the uh daily uh bits and pieces, you know, like level up, uh, event quest completion, all those. Try to get as many revives as you can to try to increase them because these are massively valuable. You don't really get these unless you buy offers. So try to, you know, trade in as many of the level ones and level twos as you can to try to get as many level threes because you can always replace your ones and twos at a later date. Um, this is another good one. I thought, you know, you get... For five gold crystals, you get uncollected gold crystals. I can't remember what this one was, but you could trade in so many of the uh, little single uh, energy refills for full energy refills, which wasn't quite wasn't too bad. Um, but then if you go back, this was the big one. This was my massive kind of bone of contention here with the awakening gems. You could trade in five generic five star uh, awakening gems for one six star awakening gem crystal. So I would expect something similar, but I would imagine it will be much, much better offer than what it is now because you can get six star awakening gem crystals quite easily. I would imagine it'll be so many six star class based uh, gem, not gems, uh, six star class based that you've already opened uh, for six star generics or you know, so on and so forth. It should be a lot, a lot better um, offers this time around. Because this was ridiculous. Uh, I know my big boat bear with this one was I only had four. It was a bit salty. Uh, I only had four 
uh, five star generics. Um, and I've been playing the game like four and a half years when this came out. I hadn't spent one, guys, I hadn't spent even one of the five star generics that I had received that I had got through playing content, that I got through uh, like Christmas uh, presents or deals that I had purchased, all that sort of stuff. I had four, never spent one and still didn't have enough to get one six star uh, Awakening Gym. So I wasn't happy. This was kind of cool. If they bring something back like this, this will be kind of neat. Uh, you can only do one of these, but if you've got, you know, if you've got a science six star crystal, that you've, uh, six star Awakening Gym that you've opened, you think, I don't have anyone, but I've got one of every other class that I could do with. Then you can just trade it in for another crystal, have another pop, see how it goes. Uh, those were quite good at the time and they're even better now, probably. A lot of people will have uh, class based six star Awakening Gems that they maybe think, I don't really have one for that, you know, for that class. Um, if we go a little bit further, where are we? So here we go. This is how you were getting the five star uh, generic. So you could trade in three class based five stars to get the five star generics. And then once you had enough five star generics, then you could trade for the six star waiting gem. Um, this should be similar to what uh, to what this will you know what this will offer. Um, on the original post, it does say units, gold, awakening gems, and crystals. So I'm guessing this will be a very, very similar sort of thing. Uh, I would be guess it'll definitely be class catalysts, uh, basic catalysts, uh, awakening gems, all exactly the sort of stuff. Gold crystals, all the same stuff as I've just gone through. You know, health potions, revives. Um, but hopefully, this has been you know. You know, a good video to remind you. Maybe you weren't even playing the game a year ago, a year and a half ago when this came out. But, you know, if you weren't, hopefully this has been really helpful for you. If you were, maybe this has been a refresher. But make sure and give the video a like, guys. Uh, comment on the video if this has been helpful. And I will catch you on the next one. All right. Take care. Have a good day, guys.